a Soviet sweep really is like a hug from baby Jesus. <laughs> 81, 89, uh, Privet Tavarashi i Dabro Pajolavet na moy canal. So let's talk a little bit about YouTube and gymnastics on YouTube. There are so many amazing channels that upload routines that I use for my videos. Some of my favorites are obviously Boban 1611, 211 UKR Jump, and Gymnastic Stuff. For this profile, I am using a video that Gymnastic Stuff uploaded a few months ago. In fact, the whole reason I'm able to finally make this video is because they uploaded a video in high enough quality that I thought it gives justice to this gymnast. Sadly, something I've noticed is that videos sometimes have a bad habit of mysteriously disappearing. One day I was just searching and there was this amazing color. It was either Czech or Slovak TV coverage from the alternate games in Olomouc. High, high quality. I used a little bit of it for my video about Mastapanova and sadly you just assume it's always going to be there. I went back a few months later to find it again and it had vanished. So I don't know if the person took it down, I don't know if it got copyright stricken or what happened, but I really wish that I had downloaded it while it was available. I should have known better, especially because videos from that meet are so incredibly rare. To have that kind of quality, I shouldn't have been so complacent and just counted on it always being there because, you know, they say the internet is forever, but not always, <laughs> not in some cases. <laughs> So as I said, the subject for today's video is somebody I am very excited to talk about. She was number three on my list of top 10 favorite Soviets that I did a few months back. Today we are talking about the pride of the Kazakh Soviet Socialist Republic, Natalia Ilyenka. Hold for applause. Actually, can we get a standing ovation? Natalia Ilyenka was an incredibly gorgeous, stylish gymnast, and you will be able to see all of that in the routine that we're going to watch. This is from 81 Europeans, Balance Beam Event Finals. Natalia would win the silver medal behind Gnauk. Ilyenka has a gorgeous style on this event that I love. Right off the top, I love this combination. Split leap into a gainer back tuck. Incredible difficulty. Beautiful turn. Just gorgeous neck, gorgeous shoulder line, setting up for back handspring layout step out, beautiful extension, gorgeous toe point, beautiful height on that jump. You'll notice she does some a lot of toe tapping in this routine. That's a cool flourish that just all these little poses little steps she has an interesting rhythm again that toe tapping is just so cool beautiful full turn look at her arms Ugh. her wrists how she flicks them it's just so exquisite that kick right into a front aerial <laughs> wonderful Ugh. And then this dismount sequence, which is very unique for the time, it was three series. So back walk over, then two back handsprings into a tuck double back, good lift, just a step forward. Unique, interesting, different, that opening sequence, I posted a short of it a couple of days ago. I have been in love with that combination for decades. <laughs> it's so different and so cool, right? The thing I loved about the Soviets is they would typically keep the same routine more or less for the entirety of their careers generally. So Ilyenka always did that split leap gainer back tuck, even though 
she wasn't that consistent on it. She probably missed it about half the time, but she always kept it in the routine. It was a risky and original skill. You know, every gymnast had their own special skills. And that's what I love about Soviet gymnastics. So despite having kind of an uneven meet at the 81 Worlds, she actually won compulsories, but made too many mistakes during optionals and didn't qualify to all around finals. She did manage to win the floor title. So the fact that she is an individual world champion just builds up her career and her legacy to the level that it deserves to be, in my opinion. Natalia would go on to make the Soviet teams in 1983 and 84, but sadly her inconsistency led to her never making another event final. So that world title is her only world medal. You know, kind of shades of Natalia Yurchenka, right? Her one world medal is a gold, except hers was in the all around at 83 Worlds. So I spoke about Natasha Ilyenka at length during my deep dive of the 83 Soviet optionals. And I, you know, kind of rhapsodized ad nauseum about <laughs> what a wonderful, beautiful gymnast she is. I think she improved so much on bars throughout her career. She worked hard to upgrade her tumbling over the years. And while she struggled with the harder skills, her dance remained spectacular. To this day, she is considered one of the best ever floor workers that the Soviet Union has produced. After retiring, Natalia moved to the UK where she ended up coaching. I literally just found out yesterday that she worked with Sarah Harding from Girls Aloud on this BBC show called Tumble six or seven years ago. She was like her coach or consultant or something. Uh, tragically, Sarah passed away last year from cancer, but it was so surreal that <laughs> one of my favorite gymnasts was working with somebody from one of my favorite girl groups, like, <laughs> The intersectionality, uh, like my mind is blown. I was like, oh my God, the way that everything is connected in this world these days is just crazy. Like I never would have thought that. Anytime I've seen Natalia write anything on social media, she seems to be the kindest, most sweetest person. She just seems so lovely. Like, je l'adore, sérieusement. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. I'm so happy I finally got to talk about Natasha in an individual video. Please hit that like button if you like this video. Please subscribe and check out my shorts. I'm trying to post every other day. Comment for engagement and I will see all of you lovely folks in my next one. Take care. Bonne journée. Bye loves.